So today's video concept is a simple one. Can I shoot under par? I'll explain. And let's do it now. Please draw! Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to a very busy Woolly Park Golf Club. We're uh, we're breaking the rules, aren't we, a little bit? But uh, you see guys, so today we've played 18 holes, which is very rare for me, and we're level par. So that means the last three holes we're gonna film, because we were having a day off, but now we're not having a day off, and we're gonna see if we can shoot under par. Can we make a birdie and a couple of pars? at Woolley Park Golf Club. So that's not a great start, to be fair. Yeah, that's uh, that's the worst show I've hit all day, so I broke your tee as well. Certainly not how I saw that going. Um, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. And isn't it funny how I've been playing really well today, I've got half a set, I've still got a bad knee, I just haven't cared. And then I turn the camera on and try and do a score and do that. And so as you'll see guys here, um, that's pretty much the kind of day that we have been having. We've been having a bit of a social game, it is a Saturday, and I have been trying to play more social golf, which I have been really, really enjoying as well. But then when you get a score going, it's a little bit like you just, oh, when you get a score going, it's a little bit like you just want to really, I don't know, finish the round off. Um, yeah or four left it. Uh, right, I think it was somewhere over here. Aha! There we are, Mr. TaylorMade. And like I said, I've got half a set, so I'll try and hack out a nine iron here and hope for the best. Please don't go in that bunker. Oh, that's good. Get up. It's going to be a long two putt, but we're on the green. Yes, very interesting setup we're having here today. You see, the day started quite interestingly because I hit the first seven greens in regulation. It took till the eighth green for me to actually miss a red green in reg, which is unbelievable. And I haven't even been that bothered. I haven't been kind of reading putts or going to that much depth. I haven't used my rangefinder once. I've just got up to it. I need to stop doing that, don't I? I've got up to it, hit it, give it my kind of 50-60% attention and then gone for it and it's actually worked. Guys, get in the comments below, does that ever happen to anyone? <laughs> Again. So I'm not gonna lie, this hole is downwind and this was the one where I expected the kind of possible birdie opportunity. Um, now we are putting, but that's certainly not a birdie opportunity. Fox is in the bunker down there, living the dream. He was on for breaking 100, but I'm not sure if he is anymore. Oh wow, well done. <laughs> this could go right to left, I think, maybe. See, now I'm lining it up, I'm trying to read it more, spending more time on it. Stuart's a great shot. Instead of just getting up to it, no respect in hitting it. Is it me? No, yeah. Stay up. Also, if you've ever seen a golf pro use a chew it for a marker. Very old, mate. You're gonna eat it later. Well, that for par, wonderful. Yep, worst golf at day. Cheers. It's never your Paul Marker, is it? Yeah. Bogey, wonderful. We'll have to birdie the last two then. Yep. It's over there. Where? Oh dear, and this is why I don't play competitive professional golf, because I'm just not very good when it comes to it. Ah, oh, how to ruin a great day. Right, come on, birdie, birdie, finish, and the video is a raging success. I'm gonna post this, whatever happens, so. Um, bogey, bogey, bogey. So a little side plot to today's video. Liam, you've been hitting this, haven't you? I have. And you're absolutely smashing it. It shows what it is. Uh, ideally the other way, mate. There we sure, go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Boys, you know this one on that fair I one? love it. So Liam, we're going to put a shot trace on for you as well. Okay. Because uh, we want to show people how well you... You've literally not missed a fairway, have you? Sorry, I actually haven't today for this. All right. Standard, that. Standard, isn't it? You haven't made many bogeys all day, if any. No, one. Well, two now. Well, I'll turn the turn the camera on. <laughs> and everything goes to pot. I made loads. Have you put the shades on just to annoy people? Yeah. You can always comment. Why you got your arm backwards? Because I want to. That's all right. In play. In play, mate. I'll take it. Oh, James, what are you doing? Come in! It's actually okay, that, but... Just cut me out of that bit. No. No, it's going in, mate. No. It's going in. Get the people! Going! Now I'm overthinking it, and by overthinking it, I mean thinking about it. Just don't think about it at all. So guys, let me know, how do you play your best golf, and how do you play your most enjoyable golf? For me, I've absolutely loved today. We've had a few beers, we've had some music playing, we've been chilled, and I've actually played really well without even thinking about it. And then if I try and think about it and try and get a score and try and work towards level par under par, I start to think of, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Because I'm a, I'm a golf teacher, but I'm saying that I just go and play. I need to stop catching that on the floor. But I'm saying that I just go up, hit it, half a set, don't read the putts really, just get the pace right, and then you start thinking about it, and uh, it all goes to pot. Right, where are we? Oh, we're here, we're nearly in the fairway with that, which is amazing. I'm gonna do the same logic and just try and chip down I think it'll be a five. I've got five, seven, or nine. Wow. Wow. Some kind of that in it, Stu. Work. Come on. Just work. No. Ooh. That's still going, actually. That's close now, isn't it? Come on! When you try telling people that it means nothing, and then you hit a shot and you're like, there's a chance. There's still a chance. That is a birdie chance, if ever I've seen one. Do you ever find that, John? When you play golf, you're having beers, you're chilled out, you're just playing good golf, and then you start, start to try and think about your score. And now you're having an absolute mess. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Let me just put my, uh, oh, it's not a chew it, it's a, a drumstick chew. Yeah. Yep. It's all gone a bit mushy now, that chew it. It was a good, uh, good idea to add the body temperature of my thigh next to it. I'm one over at the minute, so. Do not leave that short, you absolute. Stu, just come and talk to me. <laughs> oh, no, I'll tap it. I'll tap it in, Foxy. Assertive, it was. <laughs> and the really annoying thing there is you start off, bird, I buried the first hole, hit the flag with the second shot, and my immediate thing that I said to Liam was that things can only get worse from there. So I think in future I need to box it out of bounds on the first and then kind of build yourself up. Probably would... Uh, Probably would work better, I think. Yeah, I'm just realising it, it sounds like I'm probably whinging quite a lot in this video. I don't want it to be that way. I'm not whinging. I just really, I haven't shot under par for like quite a while. And then when you put yourself in the opportunity, because I don't play that often anymore, I don't play 18 holes that much. I thought, yeah, it's going to be. I mean, today is a scorable day. It's a little bit windy. The course is immaculate um, and it's a nice warm day. And the beer was flowing as well. I am whinging. I'm whinging. So, boys, 18th hole. How are we all on the scores? I'm one over. You're, um, do you want to, should we not talk about it too much? And um, Easy E over there. Um, yeah. 
you've had 98 and putted like those glasses. I had... as well putted with that. Yeah. Yeah, he's not putted. Um, after the video we put out yesterday, he's not putted very well today. So, um, do you want to chew it though? No? All right. Oh, how good is that? I want to borrow Liam's. Thank you, thank you ever so much. Right, birdie the last for level par at least, at least. Oh dear. That's left such a long second shot, hasn't it? Get me to the bar. Let's do a video. <laughs> oh, James, just have a day off. Have a day off. But in play. In play. Which is the main thing. And you see, a lot of you might be wondering why I brought this mini driver out. And to be honest, I've been hitting three wood that well that I'm going to kind of contradict myself a little bit now. I want more. <laughs> But I don't want a driver at the moment because of my knee, because I can't commit to it. Like the, these shots I've hit here, they've been okay, they've been in play. The first one was rubbish, obviously, which led to making bogey. Well, it didn't really, the three putt led to making the bogey. But isn't it funny how golfers find something that works, that's good, it's, you, know, you like it, and you're like, oh, maybe I could just tweak it, maybe I could just do this, maybe I could just get that, maybe I could get something a little bit less loft, a bit of a longer shaft. I'm sure we all do it, but idiot. Right, and after all that whinging back on the tee, we are actually in the fairway. Um, in fact, that might be me actually. That's got a black line on it, so that's not me. Yeah, tailor made. That's found, I don't know how that's found the middle of the fairway, but we have. So, chance to maybe try and sneak one. Maybe. Uh, 150's there. This is where a full set of clubs would have been handy. But, We'll do what we've done all day and chip it up. Stu's not safe down there, I shall tell you that now. Right, come on. Oh, keep drawing, please. Draw a bit more. Bunker. Excellent. Can't wait for that. One thing I would like to draw some attention to in this video is John's new head cover and cap game because it's looking quite cool mate, look at that. Is that the US Open ping one? And then we've got some stars on his hat. There. Stars, all right. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Right, so we need to now hole a bunker shot to shoot level par after basically cruising around the front nine, just parring holes for fun and making, uh, well, a birdie. That's the thing, I haven't really, if you're gonna try and put a score together and you play well, you strike it well, you put yourself in position, you have to make the birdies, you have to make the putts, you have to actually pounce on, where am I? Your opportunities, I think I'm in here. Yes, right, sat nice as well. So if this doesn't go in, um, yeah, I'll probably just, I'll probably just call it a day there because it's not gonna be level par but annoying. Come on. Right, boys, this for level par. You reckon you still land it near that leaf? Yeah, and it'll run down towards the left-hand side. <sighs> it was very attacking, wasn't it? But... It had to be, mate. It had to go in, didn't it? I feel like I've lost. Thank you. I feel like I've been defeated. Oh. You're not telling me I've just played 17 holes to an hour on the lap. <laughs> John, how does it feel to slog around 18, uh, 17 like, holes in 20 like degrees? That has been a long day. To NR the to last. To NR on the last. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, this for par. Not that it matters now. Come on, Foxy, hold this. I'm going home. <laughs> well played. 
So essentially there, what we've done is uh, blow up. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do smash that subscribe button below. Um, yeah, no under par, not even level par. So yeah, enjoyed it though. Guys, it leaves like if you did enjoy that video. Let me know how do you enjoy your golf. And apart from that, look forward to bringing you some decent videos tomorrow. Oi. Oh, keep drawing, please draw a bit more. Bunker, excellent. Can't wait for that. Please don't go in that bunker.